Hello everyone and let us continue our venture uh, in the uh, area of the discrete system uh, representation where Z-transform was the main tool that we use to relate the difference equation with uh, complex system representation. In other words, we were able to demonstrate that by using the Z-transform we can relate again sequences which are the main features of the discrete equations or difference equations. In other words, we are going to look now, just as we did in the previous lectures, for some Z-transforms or particular functions. For example, we are going to look exponential function half of k h which h is the discretization time and exponential function is given as a minus a k of h so how do we obtain how do we find the z transform of this function. So we say Z transform that operates on this sequence F of KH. We always operate on the sequence. This is the sequence of the numbers here. It's going to be just by definition infinite sum K goes from 0 C E to the minus a k h and here we multiply this by z minus k now we see that in order to write this in a more standard form like we previously found out that if we have a z transform of a of n sequence that is written k0 infinity a by z factorial k. So we see similarity because we can group these these two terms in this form and essentially we had that this is just going to be z z minus a and if we take that into account let us rewrite this expression here as a z transform of the f k h and we write the series expression here and we write here infinity k equals zero c we can put outside of the series because c is just a constant that multiplies each terms in this series so it can go outside so we are writing the c and we can write e to the minus a h divided by z And this is all to the k power. So you see, now this a here is this entire expression. In other words, by analogy, we are obtaining that z transform is just c, and then we can utilize the following form 1 minus e to the minus a h z minus 1. So, as you can see, this is very simple procedure to obtain the Z-transform and we kind of utilize what we previously learned with respect to obtaining Z-transform of geometric series. So, we just utilize this expression by construction. Uh, another important function to look at just to add to the previous functions which are Dirac function, 
ramp function, step unit step function, uh, exponential function uh, 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 is the sine or cosine function. So let us just use one of these transcendental functions, sine function. So let's consider sine the gap and we write here omega k sine omega k so in order to demonstrate now what is the what is the z transform of sine function let us just rewrite sine in different way Let's just consider that. And we know that sine can be expressed as e to the i omega k minus e to the minus e omega k. This is what we already know from our math class. And here we have just a 2. And here we have i. In other words, if we rewrite this in the following form, okay, minus 1 by 2i e to the minus i omega k, this will become the previous case where we have a Z transform of the complex function. In other words, we see that easily knowing the Z transform of the exponential function, we can now utilize the same expression for this term and for this term. We just think that C is now 1 by 2i and C for the second term is minus 1 by 2i. Therefore, by the same way we obtain that that the Z transform of the sine omega k just repeat the above procedure is going to yield the expressions Z sine omega And here we have a z squared minus 2 cosine omega plus 1. Identical procedure can be used to determine the cosine omega k uh, uh, z transform of the cosine omega k function. Therefore, we summarize that we were able to find a z transform of Dirac step unit step ramp and exponential function and finally trigonometric functions and this is important because now we pretty much know all possible functions how we can find the z transform. But what about signals? Because we know that we have a what about uh, 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 signals that we have, like a signal as given as uh, x k plus one x of k and so on. What about signals? Z transform of signals. Namely, we just say the same way. Let's take the Z transform of the of the following signal. So we just do Z transform of the X of K. No problem with this. We know already that Z-transform is just going to be series, X of the signal that is 
parameterized with the cape x is 0 plus x at 1 z minus 1 plus x of 2 z minus 2 plus and so on in other words we say that this is just x of z okay so this is for the x of k but now somebody might ask what about x of k plus 1 so let us work it out so z of x k plus 1 and we understand that k goes from 0 is nothing but x now 1 why? because if k is 0 x is 1 plus x 2 z minus 1 plus x 3 z minus 2 plus and so on okay in other words this is the way how we can construct any z transform of any x k plus p signal so if we write again x of z as being all of these x zero i'm just rewriting the first line x one z minus one plus x two z minus two plus and so on if i rewrite this expression as x zero plus and i extract z minus one out of this expression okay what do we get? We get x1 plus x2 z minus 1 plus x3 z minus 2 and so on. But this expression here is nothing but z transform of the x k plus 1. In other words, what we determine is the following, that expression z set transform of x k plus 1 is nothing but the following term is equal z x of z minus z x of 0 you see that because we take this expression x of z equal x of 0 plus z minus 1 z transform of xk plus 1 we multiply by z we lift this from the right side to the left side and we obtain that z transform of xk plus 1 is just this expression In the same way, for the z, x, k plus 2, we can demonstrate, say, k plus 3, and so on. So what will be, by analogy, z, z k, x, plus 2? So it will be z, k, x, k plus 2, x, 
that this will, will be nothing but z square x z minus z square x one minus x zero. Okay, and so on. so this is a similar what we have a uh, uh, in the Laplace uh, taking Laplace transfer uh, uh, taking Laplace transformation uh, with the highest derivative of the function with respect to time. So think about this is like a xk plus one. It's just for the Laplace it will be dx by dt. It was s x of s minus x of 0. However, here it's just different that we have this term z x of z minus z x of 0. For the second difference expression, we have a z square x of z minus z square x at 1 minus z minus x at 0. So this is the way how this is built up. And later on we can use this to find the transfer function of the simple uh, discrete uh, 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 difference model, for example, x k plus 1 is equal 3x k plus b u k. If we apply this z transform on this expression, we will obtain z x z minus z x zero z transform x of k x of z z transform of u k u z such that the final expression would be x of z is equal three divided by z minus Here is the b. This is 3x plus b. So this is b z minus 3. Okay. U of z providing, so this is now the transfer function, providing that x at 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So this is the simple way to find the transfer function by applying the z-transform, and this is now complex, tra complex transfer function representation. Later we will work with a complex transfer function representation uh, representations that we are obtaining from the finite difference equation like uh, this one, and we are going to apply the inputs in the complex form because now we know what is the z transform of the Dirac function it's just going to be 1 for example if the Dirac function is applied at k equals 0 therefore easily we can obtain uh, a, a response of the system because we will learn how to obtain uh, uh, and how to find the uh, difference as expressions out of uh, uh, complex system representation and this will be in the coming lectures.